Are you new to the Bible and you want to know the book of Revelation? Well, you're at the right place. We're going to show you the book of Revelation in under seven minutes. And you're going to get a blessing out of it because the Bible promises those who are Christians that they will receive a blessing by reading this book. Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Bell from Take Cross Ministries. If you haven't subscribed, do so down below. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications. We're going to talk about the book of Revelations today. It has many interpretations, but we're going to try to make it real simple for you. The book of Revelation is the last book that is written in the, in the Bible, and it was written approximately 95 AD. Many scholars believe that John wrote the book of Revelation. He wrote the Gospel of John and the, uh, the first, second, and third letters of John. So chapter one is pretty much an introduction about uh, why this is being written, who it's been written to. We get into chapter two. This is the the chapters that are written to the churches, the seven churches, and their messages to each one. They uh, uh, God points out their good deeds and their bad deeds, and there's there's uh, an overall uh, summation of each church. And many scholars believe that that these churches represent the church age in which we live, and that may or may not be true. The next section that's found in the book of Revelation is chapter 4, where we find Jesus sitting on his throne, and, and there's a, a description of all the angels that are around him and the, the 24 uh, witnesses that are sitting out front, and there's the sea of people, that are out front, and uh, the, the emerald rainbow that goes across the top, and it is a beautiful picture of what heaven may look like. Then in chapter 6 through 19, we get into the tribulation period, and it describes uh, three and a half years of peace and prosperity, where the Antichrist comes along, and he sets up everything to be hunky-dory all over the world. And then the last three and a half years, God's wrath is being poured out upon uh, those that are on the earth. What is the tribulation? Well, it's a seven-year period of hardship, wars, uh, drought, earthquakes, um, famines, pestilence. It, it's just one misery right after another. Now, many people think that the church will be raptured out before all this starts, and that's my view. I believe that uh, at, at least halfway through tribulation, at least we shall be out of here. Some people don't believe in the rapture at all, and uh, some people believe that the rapture will take place after the seven-year tribulation. So it's it's kind of a mixed bag. Christians are re, uh, not re united on that belief at all, and uh, we don't know. We'll find out. What we do know is that it's going to be very hard to be a Christian during the seven-year period because, number one, if, if the Christians are taken out, the Holy Spirit leaves with them. And so there will be no desire to seek God himself. And so it's going to be very hard for those who are left behind. Christians will be killed, Revelation chapter 6. Um, the church will be gone, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And God's wrath is going to be poured out, Revelation 15 through 16. The next section in the book of Revelation is called the Battle of Armageddon. And this is where God comes with his church and they wage war against all of those who, uh, all the nations that are attacking Israel. They'll be coming from the north and from the east and from the south and from the west. And they will all be defeated in a valley right there in, in Jeru near Jerusalem. And uh, God will land there on Mount Olive and he will fight and the, the blood will raise up to the bridle of the horse and there'll be thousands killed. It will take, I think it was seven years, I believe, that the vultures will be feeding on the dead bodies. It's going to be a horrendous thing. So it's not really a battle. It's a slaughter. In this battle, Satan himself will be captured. And after this battle, uh, Satan will be locked away for a thousand years while God builds his his uh, city of David will come out of the out of the heaven and land right there in Jerusalem and it will be a new Jerusalem and God will destroy the earth with fire and there will be a new earth 
uh, and all the things that were plagued with sin before will be gone and destroyed, and then Satan will be loose for a season after that thousand years year reign with Christ. That thousand year reign is called the millennium and that's where Christ sets up a kingdom that were his laws and he's the king and he will rule all over the world and uh, we, there'll be no more corruption. It's going to be a time that is marked by long life, long uh, eternal life. It, it'll be marked by peace It'll be marked by prosperity. It'll be marked by righteousness. Then the last part of the Bible is talks about the judgments. And the, the, there's the great white throne judgment where all the sinners will be brought in and they'll be judged according to their righteous or unrighteous deeds. And they will be cast into the lake of fire if they did not know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, along with the devil. Uh, and uh, there, there's also a judgment for the believers, and they will be given their rewards and will get an opportunity to be given crowns. The crown of life is one of those crowns, and uh, we'll be given the opportunity to lay that crown of life at the feet of Jesus, and I can't wait to do that. There are only four chapters in the entire book of the Bible where things were perfect. That is Genesis chapters 1 and 2, and then the things fell apart in chapter 3. And then in book of Revelation, uh, the problem is solved in, in Revelation 20, and then in chapters 21, 22, the, everything becomes perfect again. And if you have questions, list those questions below, and uh, we'll try to answer the questions as we go along, and we'll, we'll try to do more in-depth videos in the future. Subscribe, please subscribe. Click that bell to get notified when our latest videos are out. God bless you.